Does exercise order really matter when it comes to muscle growth? If you're like me and have a consistent resistance training program, then chances are you're intentionally structuring the exercise selection and its exercise order. Now, for many people, it has been carefully crafted for your individual training goals, often initiated with a compound or multi-joint movement, followed by an isolation or a single joint movement. Now, allow me to tantalize your curiosity here for a moment. Does the exercise sequence actually yield any influence over the diverse outcomes that you're seeking? Well, let's take a look at this 2021 meta-analysis, a beacon of enlightenment for the realm of muscle and strength outcomes. In this 2021 meta-analysis, the researchers sought to find the significance of exercise order, specifically relating to muscular strength and muscular hypertrophy. This meta-analysis included 11 studies, each examining the impact of resistance training and exercise order. And you can find the source at the PMID link listed here in the description below. The researchers found that when it comes to muscular strength, increases were greatest in exercises performed at the beginning of a training session. Whereas from muscular hypertrophy, exercise order did not have significant impact on the outcomes observed. So basically what this means is that whether you start with a multi-joint exercise followed by a single joint exercise or vice versa, the results for muscular hypertrophy remain remarkably similar. Also guys, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more educational videos just like this one. All right, let's get back into it. So let's discuss this for a little. Now let us extract those revelations into actionable wisdom. For anyone with the pursuit of sheer strength, the results are not surprising. In the early stages of your training session, you tend to feel freshest and you're unburdened by fatigue, which allows you to muster that near maximum effort to ascend to new heights in regards to your strength. As for the realm of muscle hypertrophy, the findings resonate logically with what we've learned from prior research. The most pivotal factor in muscle growth is proximity to failure, surpassing all other variables. So it's not so much how you reach muscular failure, but the fact that you actually get there. However, it is worth noting that these findings appear to challenge the conventional wisdom of starting your training program with a compound exercise, at least in the context of muscle hypertrophy. Much of the rationale behind these traditions centers on advice governed by maximizing strength gains, typically in compound exercises, and mitigating injury risk by preserving proper form during those heavy compound lifts. This is as opposed to a testament to compound exercises being performed first as being superior for muscle growth. So what are my main takeaways? Well, if your goals revolve around improving maximum strength in specific strength exercises, then position them at the beginning of your workout. In this order, you'll harness your best energy, uninfluenced by fatigue, and prime for maximizing your maximum strength. However, if your heart's desire is building and sculpting particular muscles or muscle groups, then you can still place them at the beginning of your training session. This would ensure that the work being performed on those muscle groups is of the utmost quality, form, and training intensity. So there you have it, guys. If you still have questions about exercise order, please go and check out my brand new educational book, The Complete Exercise Guide to Muscle Hypertrophy, which you can download via the links in the description below. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to my channel, and take a look in the description below for where you can learn more about what we've talked about today, along with all of my products and services. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.